is going on guys rational gig driver here and we are going on a ride along today guys it's gonna be a uh, few hours um, we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, make a few dollars here so I'm gonna take you guys along it's been a long time in coming since I've done a ride along so I thought you know what why not we're going to be using spark instacart grubhub uber eats and doordash to try to go out and make a few dollars it looks like doordash is summoning us right now let's let's check it out and see what we got here guys see what we got let's see and nothing great here guys 225 7.4 miles jersey mics we are going to decline that offer uh and uh, move on to the next one so we will wait until that next until that first offer comes through 225 seven miles is not going to get it done so we will wait i'm going to get all the other apps fired up guys and then we will uh be back as soon as i have something to report all right guys rational gig driver back here and it has been a very slow day i've done no orders it's like three o'clock um i finally had to pick my son up from school so i we went ahead and did that um so now we're going back out we're going to restart this thing uh but very slow uh tuesday here uh which tuesday is a very weak day in my market normally i think what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the charlestown market that's where i like to go and see what's going on up there see what's uh cooking there and uh see if we can make a few dollars today i don't know maybe it's not in the cards i mean it's been any offers i've seen have been absolutely atrocious um and uh just nothing that i nothing that i can hit accept on and then I haven't seen many either. You know, what I did see was terrible. So it's one of those days, but you know what? In the gig economy, the thing I love about gig work is don't ever judge it by what's going on right now because it can change in a second. I mean, in two minutes, I could be staring at a hundred dollar order. And suddenly I go from making nothing or looking like I'm gonna make $15 an hour a day for today to making $50 an hour. So you just gotta stay vigilant, you gotta stay disciplined, and you gotta let it come to you. You cannot make it do anything. So be ready to react when the right order comes. That's all you can do. That's what I'm gonna do, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, so we are going to pick up where I left off uh, a couple of days ago, and that is with Uber, um, getting in my way but we'll see if this makes up for it so i'm driving to charlestown as i mentioned haven't got anything that was worth even considering in my opinion and um uber sends me a 28 dollars and some change it's it's on trip radar going eight and a half miles towards charlestown to drop off on the way to charlestown of course i say oh wow yeah it's wing stop that's the only downside but i say hey yeah i'm gonna consider doing that so I click in the trip radar and click, hey, you know, I'll match me with the order if, if I can match. It matched me, and I'm on my way there now. So we will see if there's a problem with this order. The reason why I'm referring to this saying this is where I was at a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, I was uh, on a run and uh, had gotten a nice $38 uh, Grubhub stack. And then Uber hits me up with a $22 order, which baited me to go uh, to Chipotle, basically going an additional six miles down the road to go to the Chipotle down here, only to find out that the order was picked up and there was a problem with the order. And then Uber support had me cancel it with giving me a whopping three bucks. Um, and uh, essentially I ended up with no $22 order. So I ended up staying down in the Martinsburg area and ended up dying off and ended up being terrible. And here we are again. This is supposed to take me back in the direction, which is exactly what that $22 order was supposed to do previously. It was supposed to take me back in the direction of Charlestown. And I thought, great, it'll be an on the way order. Well, when I lost that order, I stayed in Martinsburg, never, never got uh, a decent order or, or good order. I got a couple of subpar orders, but it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Um, and, uh, you know, that's where we stand. So, um, we're going to see what happens here. I'll take you along. We're going to go into wing stop and we'll see what happens. So, uh, we're almost to the wing stop, probably another three minutes. If it turns out 
that this is a legit order, it will be well worth it for $28. Uh, that'll be a great start to make up for some of the lost time. Won't make up for all the lost time, but it'll be a good start nonetheless. Um, so we'll see what happens. And uh, I'll talk to you when I get Arrived to Arrived at the restaurant. So we are going to head in. So let's go, uh, let's go find out what's going on with this order. Hello. Uh, picking up for Natalie R. Okay. So you were like the fifth person to come to Natalie. I figured I might be. <laughs> uh, I don't know the, the number for the Uber Eats customer okay. service, but like I can remake it. Gotcha. But Does somebody take it? Is that what yeah. it is? Okay. Yeah. Cause see, what's going on is is um, and I don't know, Uber Eats customer service is just going to tell you the, the driver to cancel out the order in the system, and then it's just going to keep circulating around so I, i'll let them know but basically they changed up how they do it it used to have us call in and cancel it and then what it does is it just adds to the um value of the order so it keeps going up so then you're just going to keep getting more drivers like this got offered at like 30 dollars, so that's the issue well, so the way that doordash will do it is yeah doordash send, if they send a new driver out they reimburse the restaurant gotcha gotcha yeah, gotcha no i, I, no, so I understand that we're not beat on right. that first that original food that got taken yep yep you know? well i'll let them know but what you may want i don't know if you guys have a customer support line to call them and set figure out what to do so they can cancel it but what's happening is is once i cancel it in the system you're gonna have a six driver come back in because it's just going to go up in price and then it'll just keep going and going and going. I don't know when it'll eventually either the customer will cancel it or call and say like, what's going on? I haven't got my order, but um, they used to have us call in to do it, but now they changed it to where they have you just mark it in the app orders okay. been taken. So, All right. Well, thank yeah. you for letting me know. Yeah, no problem. Yep. <clears throat> More call support. This call will be recorded for quality and training purposes. All right, guys. So it turned out to go exactly the way I thought it was going to go. Unfortunately, my camera died. I'm using my Go, my Go Two. Apologize there. Using my go-to. So it only gives me about, if I take it out of the case, like I'm using it right now, uh, it only gives me like 10 minutes, <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes. And then it's got to go back in my charging case. So I can use the charging case. I think it gives me like two hours on the charging case. But anyways, point of the matter is it ended up being exactly what I thought it was going to be or what I suspected it could have been. And it's a floating order. Uber's got to get this under control. It's happening a lot more. And it's because... They are, they are, they now have a button inside the app that says order was taken by another person, but they don't do anything about it. So they just simply, um, float it to the next order and they float it to the next a driver and the next driver and the next driver. And then like the uh, lady in the, in the wing stop said, she was, uh, the manager of the wing stop. You heard what she said. They don't want to prepare the next order because they're not getting paid for the second one. They only get paid for one, or at least that's what they think. Then I talked to Uber support and they say, that's not the case, but I don't know. Anyways, I ended up getting three bucks at a $7.83 order value based on the time I spent on the order. Not worth it at all. Would have certainly been worth it for the 14 or $15 DoorDash would have paid me to uh, get half pay on an order like that, but not so much on Uber. Anyways, guys, we're on our way back down to Charlestown. So when we get to Charlestown, hopefully we find our first order today. Not so great, four o'clock, three dollars horrible start to the day will it get better i hope it's got to it can't get any worse i don't think or can it anyways i'll see you in Charleston. all right guys so we are in the charlestown market officially and we got our first order i don't know if you guys can see it hopefully you can 750 plus so we got a plus order so 
good start 2.4 miles it looks like it's going to the hotel up here that's right around the corner so we're going to go up here it's chick-fil-a chick-fil-a here is a fishing place um it actually does a pretty decent job um because they um they uh get things going pretty well not like the martinsburg chick-fil-a which really the martinsburg chick-fil-a isn't bad it's just the location is bad getting in and out but here is actually pretty smooth so we're heading over there where we were technically in a shared parking lot of chick-fil-a which is where we're making our way over to their parking lot and then we're going to run inside get this picked up and get this first order delivered of the day and see how much that plus equals hopefully it's a lot because we need to make up for a lot of lost time as it is four 23 right now and we have only made three dollars not a good start at all but a day but the next right onto Joshua M. as Boulevard, then turn right. i have said before the gig take the next right then turn left uh gig work can turn around in a minute it just takes a couple of good orders anyways let's get inside here and i'll talk to you soon Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, so that was a successful pickup. You should have seen that. Now, you, also, you also should have seen my new bags um, because I just got my new bag order in every, at the end of every year, I put in new bags and I got, um, I decided not to upgrade my uh, pizza bags right now. They're, they're in pretty good condition, but I wanted to get an extra catering bag because my DoorDash catering bag fell apart and I decided to go with Grubhub. Grubhub has very quality bags. So tip, you want, rational good equipment go with grubhub it is excellent and uh, you should have seen them they're brand new this is the first order to go in the new bags and uh, i can't I, the setup i have i think i'm going to do a video just on that just a short little video to show you how to optimize yourself because i've gotten compliments from several customers and it just makes the day flow and now i've got an older i clean the bags and everything of course but older more beat up bag that I can use for things like groceries, you know, that the, the bigger order that I that I need to, you know, uh, use um, an extra bag for. But now I got my main bag. My main operating bag is going to be uh, the setup I have back there that you should have seen. So um, great bags from Grubhub. A little pricey, a little pricey. Sixty-eight dollars for the whole deal uh, because of shipping, and then. Um, each bag that it costs but it's well worth the money in my opinion well worth the money and i and in another six months i'll get another set i hope grubhub has the same set of bags and then i'll throw out this other catering bag because i think by then it's going to be cooked anyways guys we've got a three minute ride to the customer i'll see you at the drop off and uh we're good from there all right guys so we are at the drop off all right so here's the bag guys you can see 
that's my pizza bag. This is my DoorDash pizza bag. You can see the pizza bags are in pretty good condition. This is the brand new get up. So we'll show you all how this looks. Drinks in here, food's in here. Let's go get this delivered. There you have it guys, three for five. I was pretty, I was correct on that. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. There we go. All right. Now you're gonna notice I paused the orders. Let's put you guys up here. I paused the orders and I recommend you do so. Because I always do a little after order work. And I don't want that next order flowing in after me, disturbing it. And I and I have found I don't necessarily need to worry about it. Um I don't necessarily need to have an order come right away. I found, you know, when I first started, I thought, oh, I need to have it. I want to turn it on. I want it right away. Listen, I have my other apps on. Something else comes. I'm logging this order. I don't want DoorDash flowing something on top. Now we turn DoorDash back on. And uh, now we're, we're waiting to see what comes. But I did not. And maybe, you know, someone said, well, maybe you missed out on something. Maybe there was a split second. I don't think I did. And here we go. I hop. See what this is. Let's see what this is right here. That's my son's diabetes monitor going off. And that is nothing that we're worried about. Six, 625, I don't know if you guys can see, I think it might be reversed, I don't know. But it's 625, 13.4 miles. Um, nah, we're not worried about that, that's horrible. Uh, we're going to decline that and move on. There we go. So now we're getting set up. Now, this market's a little complicated now because they took away my best staging area, which was the sheets that was up here. It's under construction. It'll be back in about a month. Till then, I have to find another area. So I have another area I'm going to go to. We'll get staged. See if I get hired before then. $11, guys. So I'm not going to take you along for the entire evening because it's going to get dark. It gets dark now, so it's not great to do evening ride-alongs and all the business. So I'm going to uh, probably end it here in a little bit. It's going to be dark in about 20, 30 minutes. So probably do one more order together, and then we'll call it. And then you guys, I'll bid you adieu, and you can wish me luck, uh, hopefully, on another order. So hold on here. Looks like we might have something coming through here. No, it was just a notification. Never mind. Um, so, you know, that's where we're, that's where we're ended. Um, and I'll be back when I get another order. All right, guys, Rational Gig Driver back here with the next order. So for those of you who believe I don't take 
you know, lower orders, nonsense. I do. Just a, It's just at time of day, right? So just got an offer following that disastrous uh, IHOP offer. We got a $5 for 1.8 mile offer. Now, I will do that right now because it's 445. It's a, and it's keeping me in the area that I want to be in. And it's, and it's a slower time of day. So you know what? I could hang out and maybe see if something better comes along. But you know what? I'll do this. And given the fact that DoorDash likes to use these smaller orders to stack something on, sometimes you can take a five for one and it turns into a $15 or $20 order because DoorDash will stack it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if that happens. Jersey Mike's is a really good restaurant I can get in and out of really quick. So I have uh, no problem with this offer. And I'm right around the corner, so I'm just riding around the block. I'm gonna come up. Hopefully by the time I get there, it'll be ready to go. We'll pick it up, we'll drop it off, and this will be the final order that we do together. And we will have made a grand whopping total of $16 together. But listen, this is to show you, there's not always great days, there's not always bad days. What I will do in this is I will post what my day looks like, what I ended up. You're not gonna see the rest of the vlog. I may even do a wrap up in the car, um, turn the lights on and go over exactly how the day turns out. So you can see, hey, it started out bad. What happens? What goes next? Uh, you know, but you gotta stay, you gotta stay rational. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta just handle it like a business person and keep going, right? Keep going. As Rocky would say, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's not about how hard you get hit. It's about getting back up and, uh, you know, and keep it going. Uh, and that's what you got to do when you're out here. Because we're going to get hit hard. We're going to get hit real hard. And some days are going to seem like we're getting hit with a sledgehammer. But you got to be, be willing to take it. You got to keep on your track. You, you can't get off your strategy. You got to keep going. And then you got to be here for when things get good and you will make it up so we'll see what happens today whether or not today turns into a complete disaster and i make no money at all or the next two or three hours things turn around and i end up making at least a hundred dollars which is what i always like to do when i'm out but we'll see anyways let's get to jersey mike's pick this up and i get this ride along wrap up Pickup went smooth. That was good to see it was ready. That's what we need on an order like that. It's packed up here. All right, guys, that was a successful pickup. As you guys should have seen, it was already ready. We've got it loaded in the car. It's 4.53. We're expected to arrive at the customer at 5 o'clock. So, unfortunately, uh, it'll be about a $20 an hour order value. So, not, 
not quite the, next right not quite the brisk right uh, pace that we needed on this order I guess Take it was uh, right I think turn left Flowing Springs my Road. thought on it is is I'm 1.6 miles away from the customer right now and I, I accepted the order right up over here and then I had Take to circle the, the block and it didn't take the circling of the block into account. So, anyways, it is what it is, guys. It's a $5 order. We're getting it done. Um, we didn't get an add-on. Maybe we'll get something added on at the end. Although, I'm not going to allow that to happen because guess what? Um, please make sure it's left at the correct house. Okay. Well, oh, boy. So, this is a... Uh, it's a house with a green shutter. So we'll be looking for that. So anyways, guys, I'll see you at the drop-off. This is going to conclude the the ride-along. As soon as we get done with this drop-off, we'll drop this off, go over the final uh, calculation, and then we will bid each other adieu, and then I will show at the end of the video. Stay tuned to the end because you will see the final stats. I will at least put up the final stats for you. Um, and we're going from there. Talk to you soon. All right, guys, so that concludes the ride along here. You just saw the order get dropped off. We just made $3 in $2 tip because this is a $3 base pay market. So love this market. On the way here, I did get an 1161 three mile Uber Eats order for McDonald's. Hopefully that order <laughs> doesn't go the way of the last one, although I don't think it will. It's just those excessively high offers and the, the first sign you want to see that you're probably going to have a problem is in that case that order was only for a 10 piece wing meal so you know traditionally uber doesn't pay 28 dollars to its drivers to go deliver 10 piece wing meals it just doesn't happen um so that was the first sign that i knew that was a problem but i stuck with it because sometimes sometimes they do you know sometimes it ends up being you know, it ends up working out. In that case, it didn't. So we're gonna head up to the McDonald's now, guys. I'm gonna say farewell. I appreciate you riding along today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You saw a little look into the world of the rational gig driver and dealing with adversity um, and problems as you're out here and keeping a rational mind when you do. Um, remember, work smarter, not harder. Part of that is handling issues smartly, right? Don't create issues for yourself. Don't get angry. Don't do things that could deactivate you. Don't do things that could take a small issue that is just affecting your moment right now. And, in, and instead of it just affecting the moment right now with a chance for it to get better in the future, you do something irrational. You get mad, you throw food, you, you, you yell at a, a merchant. And what happens? You lose your ability to ever do gig work ever again. And now a small problem affecting only this moment now affects many, many more moments and drastically changes your future. Anyways, guys, stay rational, work smarter, not harder, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Check yourself out another video from The Rational Gig Driver. And also, if you get a chance, Download your spreadsheet, they're attached. Talk to you soon.